In Jenna's kitchen, she makes all kinds of yummy recipes. Think cookie dough fudge, guacamole, strawberry, lemonade, slow cooker, lava cake. The next Food Network star <laughs> may not even be in the sixth grade just yet, but she continues to practice what she peaches. Mm, having fun in the kitchen with tasty results. Making stuff with peaches today. Is that one of your favorite fruits? Yes, I love the peaches. I just, they feel like summer to me. They do, they're, and they're so juicy and flavorful. You may get messy, but these are good. It's worth it. It's yeah. worth all that juice and messiness. So yeah. we've got a couple of things. What are we gonna do today? First, we're gonna start off with the strop peach caprese steak wrap. And we've already grilled these sirloin steaks to 145 degrees Fahrenheit, the star of the show. This is delicious. We I love, love all that good beef and protein, right? Yeah. Do you have cows on your farm where you live? Yes. I thought maybe so. And we seasoned that with steak and chop. It's all done, but we have to start with the base making. Right. And so okay. we're going to take four cups of lettuce, add one fourth a cup of balsamic vinaigrette, that will go great with the peaches for the kind of caprese yes, theme. Yes, it will. Half a cup of onions. And then for the basil. Here's how you cut up the basil. You kind of roll it up into like a little kind of pipe looking thing. I love basil and this smells so good. Basil yeah. just smells so fresh, doesn't it? Yeah, it always smells so good. Do you grow some herbs at your house? Yes, we grow like cilantro, basil, oregano, stuff like that. You got all kinds of good herbs. Yeah. And so how you cut this is you just slice it very, very thinly. And to be honest, I think this is the hardest part of you it all. You think so? Well, you're doing awfully well there. Thank you. So you want it kind of fine, right? You yeah. don't want these big chunks of no. basil when you thin your wrap. First time I made this, I made the chunks humongous. And then we got like big chunks of basil. <laughs> Not the best. <laughs> yeah, it's better if it's a little smaller and then you're just getting the perfect little amount in every bite, right? Yeah, that's a lot better. So we got all that mixed up. So really, it looks like we're making the salad here. Yeah, this is like the salad part of it all. Mm-hmm. Add all the rest of the basil. And then we take these and just toss it all together. And you want to make sure that you get all of the balsamic vinaigrette on all of the leaves, onions, basil, everything. And so that way, you won't have like tons of balsamic in one bite and then little balsamic in the other. Right. Nice Again, and even. All those flavors, yeah, evenly distributed there. All right, that's all done. And now we have to start the assembly. This so is we're the fun part, right? Yeah. So take one tortilla. You can do one too. All right, thanks. And then take a little bit of salad. First, we have to take this peach cream cheese. Ooh. Where did you find that? Peach cream cheese? <laughs> In the store. I have never even seen that. Yeah. And just spread it on the right third. That was a good find. Put about like a tablespoon. And this will go great with the peaches because it's kind of like peach anyways. Yeah. And All creamy. Right. Yeah, this is delicious. So you can take some. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Put it on the right third and that will act as the glue to keep this all together. And so we're gonna take a little bit of our salad part of it and put it in the middle. Kind of like, make sure you have like a little ring so it'll be easier to roll up. All right, got your cream cheese done? I do. <laughs> so go ahead and take some salad. There are little bits of peach in that cream cheese. Mm-hmm. That's good. And then we're gonna take these peaches and just layer them a lot everywhere. And nice. the peaches are just like a little bit of freshness and th with this, you have tons of flavor of summer in here. So good, and we were doing some things with peaches yesterday, and we said a lot of times people want to do peach cobblers and yeah. desserts and things, and those are great, but you can also use them in the main event, right? Yeah, and this will be delicious. So we're going to take some slices of sirloin, top sirloin steak grilled to perfection. And you just grilled these on a little George Foreman or something, wasn't it? Yep. So you seasoned this with something good. You had to. It steak smells. and chop. Okay. Steak and chop seasoning. Great. I love steak and chop seasoning. All right. Now we have all this done, but we have to add some cheese. More yeah. stuff on this. Oh, I saw you were snacking on that blue cheese earlier, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, I love blue cheese. I do too. All right. So you can go ahead and put some mozzarella on there. And the mozzarella goes with the caprese because usually, typically, caprese has basil, balsamic vinaigrette. Mm -hmm and mozzarella, 
and tomatoes. Yeah, I love a caprese salad. That's fresh and summery too. Yeah, but this time we're putting the peaches oh, instead yeah. of. Oh yeah, this has a lot more oomph to it. <laughs> yes. Caprese, that's for sure. And then we're gonna take these candied pecans and put them on. So there's gonna be some crunch to this. Yeah. I like where this is going. <laughs> this is a big wrap. Yeah, that's why we get the large tortillas. I see that now. These might be a little extra work, but they are worth it. Did you toast these in the oven? No. Or you can, I guess, if you want to. Yeah, you can, but like, I got them a skillet, candied some. They are delicious. Oh, you just did it on the stove top. I All right, you. so here's how we do this. We take the top and the bottom and kind of fold them in. Okay. It may have to like squeeze some stuff in there. Yes. Yeah, All right, then turn it towards you. Uh, the glue needs to be facing away. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> School yeah. me, Jenna. How to do this? I had a okay. hard time to okay. first time, and then you just roll it. Make sure your edges are inside. Tuck some stuck up stuff under if you have to. You make this look easier than it is. <laughs> well, it, the first time I made this, my mom had to help me, so it's not really that. Mom might need to come help me, too. <laughs> <laughs> you need some help with that? Oh, and just, like, good. roll the glue on top of it. I think you got it. You, you think so? You're doing really good. You're sweet. You're sweet. <laughs> Yours looks better. I'll just pull that over so you don't see the bottom part. Look, All there right. we go. And then we just cut this diagonally. Lovely. And just look at all of the beauty this is gonna on be the great. inside. Oh my gosh, look at all that good stuff in there. All right, we're gonna go to break. We'll come back. We're gonna we'll we'll plate up our wrap and then also you have the drink to wash this all down. Yeah. A peach tea. This is gonna be right uh, very good. A peachy keen recipe from Jenna when we come back. We are back with Jenna Coles who is uh, using one of her favorite summer fruits in both sweet and savory recipes. We just did that steak peach caprese wrap. I don't think I said that in the right order, but it's, <laughs> it's right fun. there. So many good things in there. That is a good, hearty wrap and very creative. Yeah. And with that peach cream cheese, my dad said it tastes like just peach ice cream on top of it. Oh, man. An extra good treat. And then another treat right now, you're going to do a peach tea. Yeah, this will help go with the strawberry, I mean, peach steak wrap. Yeah. All right. So you do stuff with strawberries too, don't yes. you? Yes. Yeah, strawberries. So we have eight cups of water and two bags of tea already put in here, mixed up. <laughs> Let it steep in for like five, ten minutes. And now we're going to add all the other ingredients in. So we have a package of crystal light peach tea. And this one makes two quarts. It's not one of the single packs. Okay. I'm just going to stir that up a little bit. And then we're going to take one can of Sprite to put in there. Going to add some carbonation. Yeah. And this will make it fizz and it look really yeah. cool. And look at all that fizz. I know. I, lo I love something fizzy. And plus, that's also going to have that little bit of, you know, lemon lime flavor yeah. to it. This will be delicious. I know it will. Right, just mix this. Do you drink a lot of fruit teas? Yeah, we met, we experiment a lot with them. And you have your own YouTube channel? Yes, I do. And we're going to make some more, put them out there. Hopefully we can get them recorded soon. I have tons of recipes in the book ready to try. You do. I think you're ready to write your own cookbook, as many <laughs> recipes as you have. I mean, seriously, <laughs> I would buy that. That eggless chocolate chip cookie, cookie dough, dough that you yeah. did to die for was so good. <laughs> You yeah. do a lot of sweet things, I notice. Yeah. You have a sweet taste like me. Yeah. I get that from my mom. We just love sweets. I do too. <laughs> I love sweets too. That's all good right, stuff. that's all mixed up. And we're going to pour it in a cute mason jar. I love the presentation. Now. And then we already froze some ice cubes with mint okay. and peach in them. Now, well, check it out. Very neat. Because, again, this is hot, so you're going to put it over the ice cube. I love the way you don't need my help, do you? I'm good. You're good. <laughs> the way you did these ice cubes. Yeah, we just put some slices of peach in there and a few sprigs of mint and then froze them with some water. And then you have peach mint ice cubes. So that's gonna add extra flavor, but look yeah. also how it just makes it so pretty. That's pretty yeah. nifty, the way you did that there. Do you all wanna see, yeah, how she's got the peach and the mint and the ice cubes. I, I never think to do stuff like that. Well, do you just sit around thinking this stuff <laughs> up? Sometimes, like if with the peaches, there are so many recipes you could try. Peach tea, peach caprese wrap, anything. Yeah, you're up for the challenge, right? <laughs> of new stuff. And I like this straw, too. It's a big straw. Thank you. 
Nice peachy flavor in there. Well done. That is Thank delicious. <laughs> it's so refreshing, Jenna. Yeah. And with that kind of rich kind of thing, this will be delicious. Yes, it will. It will uh, be a nice compliment to our steak peach wrap. Good stuff. Thank you for coming to see us. Thanks for having me. You're so welcome. And Jenna does have her own YouTube channel. It's called Jenna's Kitchen. You can find it at youtube.com slash Jenna's Kitchen. We're going to link you up at WBKO.com. Just look for this segment later in the midday section.